Yo, who's the tallest one now, Sidon? Look at you, look how short you are now by comparison. Welcome back to Tears of Kingdom, guys. I'm Nintendo Capri Sun, and uh, I, um, I'm, I just got Minoru. I just put her together. And now we're in this weird-ass looking coliseum, and if we look up there, we can see the secret stone. But, there's one unfortunate little squabble we gotta deal with before we get there. And that is that there is an electric Lazal horn nearby. So we're gonna have to go get that. But before we even do that... There's this. We're gonna- we got something else here to deal with. Wow. <laughs> Since when do boxers come from underground like this? I don't know. Oof. Well, it's another me. That construct! I made it long ago! To save Corneria! But the glow... It must be under the control of something monstrous. Seized construct. Oh man. Okay, here we go. This is another thing that, like, my first time, I was so stumped on this, I didn't know what I was doing. Pawn, if the Demon King, who's riding me right now, we uh, together, we can do this together. Right? Yeah, sure, okay. So this is why you probably want to have a cannon on your left hand. So if you do this, you kind of just blow it to smithereens, and then basically attack with the right hand. Boom. Boom. Do it again. One more time. Knock him into the side, that's how you do damage. Now I'm gonna give you a chance to recover here, even though maybe that's against my foolish wills here. Oh wow. Um, no, okay, you got me that time. Alright, good job. Let me try this again. Boom, there we go. Now you gotta get up close to it. It's a very slow, lumbering process, but you can't get it done. You just have to be patient. So I'm gonna back away a little bit here so I can kind of position myself for the next hit here, which is coming right about now. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Mm. Two, and three, and four. Okay. Oh, shoot. That didn't quite knock them far enough back. Knock them far enough back, I don't know. Yeah, you also have, like, a shield that you can use. It's actually really useful. That's how I ended up beating it the first time. You put up a shield, let them hit you. It kind of stuns them a little bit, and then you just go in, hit them one, two, three, and... Maybe we can make use of the devices around us. Maybe I shouldn't be hitting you into a corner. Wait, that still is doing damage, though. Okay, so, keep the shield up. It's very useful most of the time. Wait, did I lose my spike ball? I think I did. Alright, there are spike balls in the corners, though. You can see them there, so... If you want, let's go grab another one. Well, you probably don't need it. Like, the majority of damage you're gonna be doing is by knocking them into the sides, the electric fence. So, having a spike ball is not gonna do a whole heck of a lot of different... Well, I mean, it's good to have. Well, as far as that goes, maybe that's why it's taking four hits instead of five or three, two, I don't know. Anyway, once again with the fan here, or once again with the cannon, rather. Just make sure you aim the camera up towards them so you can actually hit them. And then we go one, uh, two, uh, three. Ah, well, it took three that time. Let me see. I'm going to go over here and attach a spike ball just because I want to. So put that on there. Get over here, and boom. It's really a joke. If you have the cannon, this whole fight is just a joke. So, hmm. Takes a little time. You can get there, though. Okay, so I had the spike ball. That took four hits, though. So let me do the cannon once more. And, oh, God, it's so slow. Uh, it makes me uncomfortable, but not in a bad way. Well, maybe in a bad way. I don't know. Is there such thing as uncomfortable in a good way, though? Probably not. Did I get to? Man, you were just about to take off, and I ruined your plan. Boom, and boom. One more if I do it. Okay. Okay, well, well you're about to... Oh, wow. You're actually about to hit me there. I'm surprised you didn't get through with it. Two, and three. And four. Four. There you go. <laughs> So easy now. Oh man, oh shoot, I wanted to try something else. I heard somewhere what you can do is jump off and use ice arrows to freeze it. Oh man, I wanted to try that. Shoot, dude. Oh well. It's too late now. I guess I can load the auto save. Yeah. Also, that looks like malice coming off of them because it's like purple. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but uh, <laughs> it's an interesting little thing that happens there. It happens with all the bosses when they die, which makes you wonder. Dun, 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 dun. Well, there's another heart container for us. I was pretty sure I already had 37, so am I going to have 38 now? Because that's kind of weird. 
basically got no use for full heals with, like, plus four yellow hearts now. Because it won't give you any more than 40. That's the most you can have. That's the cap. But hey. Whoops, okay, yeah, sure, let's just walk right past it. Oh, you have to press A to take it. Oops. Bloop! And boom. There you go. That's it, we are full. That's the last heart container in the game. Nearby up above. It's trying to tell me about those electric Lazals, man. I wonder, are they, like, in the, on the surface? Is that what it, Oh, it is. Because they're all over the place up here. Yeah, wow. I guess that would make sense, though. That sensor is pretty strong, though. Anyway... We're gonna get to watch this cutscene for the fifth time now? Well, not really. This one's a little bit different than the others. With emphasis on the words, a little bit. Love my fingernail, man. My thumbnail. Look at that, Minaru Spirit was inside the Pura Pad the whole time. Who would have thunk? This flies right in. She just couldn't wait to get her stone back. And she's waited long enough, dude. Poor lady's been more than patient enough, I think. I really wish Minoru had more screen time. Like, in the memories and stuff. I don't know. Zelda asked me to aid you, Link. I am the Sage of Spirit, and one of the Zonai. What you talking about? You're a Viera. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. Minimum. Yeah, what's up? Also, that thing on your neck does not look very comfortable. I am glad to meet you. Link. Like, I can't imagine what she would look like without that there. Would she just have a really long neck? Must thank you. That'd be funny it's looking. You, Maybe somebody can Photoshop that. Recovered my secret stone. I'll retweet you if you Originally. do. <laughs> My intent was to awaken when you first found the Pora Pad, then to guide you to my construct and assist you on your journey. I had not anticipated a battle with that same construct. Nope, neither did I. You have proven <laughs> now I can't unsee it. I'm grateful for all your efforts. She looks like that that creature in Star Wars, Here. you know, in the Phantom Menace, that one in the background. It's like I know where I would aim if I was fighting him. Oh, give me your hand. Give me your hand. I just want to hold hands. Fuck. In the name of Minoru, Sage of Spirit, I grant That was a tweet power. from Sarah Bear like three years ago. I and I was like, girl, that's a move. <laughs> Damn, that's glowy. How's it feel holding your brother's hand? Let's just pretend we're crossing the street or something and I'm just trying to protect you. I don't know. Oh, and of course they would give Minoru the middle finger. They totally gave her the middle finger in more ways than one here. But, you know, at least we got her. With this power I've given, a deep bond has been forged between us. Yeah, that's and how people bond. Forward, they write stuff on each other's fingers. Within that construct. I, will help you however I see a Magatama in the sky. Sort of. It's like missing the end of the tip, though. I am one who lived- oh, right, I thought she was gonna read this, but, huh. Circumstances forced me to forsake my body and become a being of pure spirit. Long have I slumbered within Zelda's pur pad in order to share what I knew when it passed onto your hands. I apologize that our meeting has been so long delayed. The Demon King's interference is to blame. Nevertheless, I ask your pardon. Well, then. You don't have to apologize for something that's the Demon King's fault. Fuck the Demon King! Anyway, in my own age, the distant past, from your perspective, Zelda awakened us as a sage of time and appeared before us. What I must reiterate to you, with emphasis on the Re, is a tragedy that occurred in Hyrule's history. At its crux was Zelda, who held a secret stone and... Secret? Secret? Sacred? I don't even know the difference anymore. Uh -huh. She made a momentous decision in those days gone by. I would have you know of the resolve she poured into that blade, the Master Sword, which you already have. This cutscene is actually different Normally, if you don't have the Master Sword yet. My people, it'll send you off to get it at this point. Came down from the heavens to the or, well, no, it already. Well, it'll send you to the woods it where you get the quest the there, but still. Of gods. They bore treasures from these same gods, secret stones capable of amplifying the abilities of those who possessed them. 
Using the knowledge of the Zonai, my younger brother Raru became a great leader. He met a young woman named Sonia, and they would wed. They sure would, baby. Raru gifted Sonia one of the secret stones. Together, they sought to establish Too bad they don't have a kid. The thing is, they must have a kid because, like, Link is their descendant, or Zelda is like their descendant, so. Like, where's their kid, I wonder? Came to be. Probably in hiding somewhere. Let's make a game about that. However, tragedy suddenly struck. Like, the kid must be alive because Sonya dies right there. Anyway, never mind. The leader of the Gerudo. Ganondorf killed Queen Sonia and stole her secret stone. He turned her into an upside down L. Using the secret stone, Ganondorf transformed into the Demon King. He then created swarms of monsters and attacked. Hyrule yeah. rose up to face these threats, but the evil power driving the monsters forward was staggering. The defenders were on the brink of defeat. And then... Raru then came up with a plan to turn the tide of the war. It's not love, is it? He entrusted secret stones to warriors with exceptional abilities. They became sages and united in an effort to finally defeat the Demon King. Raru and the sages outnumbered the Demon King and should have been able to stop him. Well, they should have. But they didn't now, did they? However, However, his beard was too strong. It was made of stone. Holy crap. That reminds me of the shot of him in Wind Waker, actually. Grown far beyond anything we could have imagined. I was unable to withstand his strength. Oh, she looks so pathetic there. Or like pitiful. I appeared all but lost. Pathetic sounds like more of an insult, but... Well, you're using a Gerudo shield with defense power of 68. No wonder you lost. Okay, I'm gonna shut up for this part because this is cool as hell. Resolve. Himself to one final act. Did not say I was gonna shut up. You know me better than that. <laughs> oh man, one of the few times we get to see Ganon in real action here. She rewound the weapons. Oh, that's so cool. And now, Raru. That pride will be your downfall, Ganondorf. so smug. I know exactly what it will cost me. <laughs> Thousands of years will pass on the brink of an eye. You will delay the inevitable. Okay, so imagine... You're wrong. Never years mind. from now, someone will appear with the sword that seals the darkness. A swordsman with the power to defeat you. Link, remember this name. Dead. Dead. Oh, man. Oh, and the way this music starts playing here, this is the same music you hear at the beginning when you first come down here. So it's almost like that music has been playing for the last however long it's been. 10,000 years, I guess. <laughs> uh -huh. 
You know this tragedy as the imprisoning war. Though it took all we were able to give, we succeeded in imprisoning the Demon King. But I was wounded in the process. My body was soon to expire. Well, then. That is when Zelda came to me, bearing a decayed and broken sword, which you already have. You will recall how the Master Sword vanished from your hand at the Temple of Time. From there, it traveled to the distant past, appearing in Zelda's hands. Then she stuck it into her head, like a fool. But I guess it worked, so who cares? You're saying that sword traveled through time the same way you did? Yes, but more importantly, in my original time, the Demon King was vulnerable to even the smallest piece of this sword. Yep, it chipped off some of his cheek. Like him has vulnerabilities. Hmm. Then, what exactly are you suggesting we do with the sword? Over time, the Master Sword is able to absorb sacred power. It can heal itself, and even grow stronger. Curious. If we were able to empower it in that way, it could be the key to defeating the demon. Couldn't they just like go down there now while he's frozen there, and just cut him apart? Centuries for that sword to grow <laughs> strong know. enough. The power the demon king wields. I do not see how this can be done. It would be impossible for you to provide it with sacred power for so long. Wanna bet? I can think of one way. You mean? Yes, I can do it. I have to. I've told you. That act is forbidden. For a very good reason. It would mean throwing yourself away. <laughs> oh, Minoru. Oh, man. <sighs> yeah, just recline. You that doesn't look very comfortable. Able to change back. Like, it reclines, but it's made of stone. <laughs> Zelda's like, yeah, it's made of stone. The moment I had the sword... <laughs> I knew what to do. I knew this was why I came to this era. I... I want to restore the Master Sword and deliver it to Link. I understand. You really have made up your mind? Do dig those earrings, I gotta tell you. Very well, <laughs> then. As a Zonai, I bear my share of blame for these events. So I, too, will devote myself to this goal and to this hero of yours. Oh, here come the police. For the Swordsman Link, I will do everything You're I can. You're going to arrest Zelda for doing something forbidden. Even if my body should perish, I will still be with you in spirit. Man, all right then, fine. Oh, jeez. So, like, is it forbidden just because of how it affects the person who does it? Or is there, like, some other reason, I wonder? You know, like, because it would damage the world in some way? Afterwards, Zelda and I discussed strategy. We laid the groundwork for guiding you in the distant future. Well, then. Before the gloom's affliction took my life, I became a spirit and entered the poor pad. Then Zelda did what she felt she must and began the forbidden process. She believed you would use the Master Sword to defeat the Demon King and restore peace to Hyrule. So go do it! You already have in hand the hope that Zelda left you, the sword that seals the darkness. Well then. Go now, by the Moody Blues. With the Sword of Hope that Zelda left to you, you will surely smite Demon King Ganondorf. <laughs> smite? Nice word. I've never played that game. That is a game, right? Or am I thinking of Spire? Or Trine? I don't know. Valve Minerus, Age of Spirit, we got the fifth one. That's it. We now have all five. Guidance from Ages Past, complete. Trail of the Master Sword, which is the quest you would get that told you to go to the forest. Why would you do it this late in the game? I'm not sure. I guess it's possible, though, if people came and did this early, this might be what led them to the Master Sword, and that would be a fascinating thing to happen to someone, I imagine. This really wants me to find that electric Lizal tail, so over here... I'm the smithing construct Minoru created me to try to unlock the hidden potential Zonai charges. I was made with a unique ability to temper Zonai for weapons and equipment. Unfortunately, all the stuff I have sucks. But I'll show it to you anyway. Mighty Zonai sword. All this crap right here. There's no point in even buying that here. 
because you can get it by going to... Let me see, where is it? I mean, you probably already know this, I've mentioned it like three times. Go to this shrine, and it's all just like sitting on the ground in this room. So, yeah. Don't even bother. Besides, you probably don't have space for it anyway. I need more materials, what do you mean? I have been tasked by Minoru with gathering materials from the depths. This was meant to aid in her research. My progress was interrupted when the Servant of the Demon King occupied the Spirit Temple. Your efforts have allowed me to return to my duty. I offer you my deepest thanks. This is one of the fruits of my excavation. Take it with my gratitude. Nice. How many of those do I have now? Jeez. I previously informed you that Minoru tasked me with excavating materials in this vicinity. Once such material is zoned, I, I could ask you to offer me all you can spare. Payment would, of course, be provided in return. I can offer you a one ancient blade for every 50 pieces of zonite. That's a lot, actually. I mean, I have a lot, so I'm gonna do it. And uh, besides, I think you have to, to actually finish this side quest. Because it was a quest, he had the little red exclamation point over his head. So yeah. Ancient Blades below! There you go. And now, Ancient Blades below complete. Yes. Blah. Excellent. So, we're basically done here. Oh my gosh, we are done here. What am I gonna do for the rest of this video? Dun, 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 dun. This is a cool looking area though. Um, can I like ascend from here? Surely I can get up there. I might just have to. Oh, well, no, I just fall in the water. There's like a spiked ball here, I guess, if you wanted to. You know what I could do? I could destroy the Hyrule Herb, because, like, what am I ever going to do with that? And put this on instead. Uh, yeah. I almost had to second think, like, I had to rethink how I was fusing stuff, because I was used to the Minoru controls, despite only using them for two seconds. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Alright. Are we on top of the... No, we're not, actually. I don't know where this is. <laughs> It's like a little bridge in between the two parts or something. Ah, shit. Let's do this, I guess. Just like a single Poe up here. <laughs> oh, there's some more over there. There's actually a lot of Poe's in here. I'm not surprised, though. It is like the Spirit Temple. There's like single ones out on the... Like right there. There's one right there. And there's like one... There's probably a few of them just here and there. I don't know if there's anything in any of these, like, passageways, though. I imagine probably not. Just push myself up through here. Yeah, sure enough, it's just a single pole on this rooftop, too. It's weird. Well, I guess at least they put something here. It's still pretty cool, though. I want to go get that grand pole, and I'm not even sure why. Oh, those look like bombable walls. It would've been so cool if there had actually been something there. Nah, that's okay. This is a pretty cool room, though. Alright, well... I guess we're done there. Oh, jeez, what am I gonna do? It's caved in, suddenly. Wow. Oh, that's right, because, like, the elevator. So I guess you could take the elevator back up? No, maybe not. Well, stuck here? I can't be stuck here! I got a life in 1985! Okay. Well, there you go. There's your fast travel point. Not that you can really use it if you're, if you're stuck in here. I actually literally don't know what I'm going to do now. I'm, I was kind of thinking earlier that it might be time to just go ahead and fight Ganondorf. Just go ahead and do it, you know? I might, like, do two, I might mess around for like two or three more videos, get some more sign guys, get some more Koroks, get some more Bubble Frogs, and just kind of go over the rest of the stuff. Like, hopefully by the time this video goes up, I will have already put up the other Oops All Koroks episode, which is like an hour and a half long. So, <laughs> good luck with that. Otherwise, if it hasn't gone up yet, then it'll probably go up right after this one. I don't really know yet. I'll just have to see how it goes, you know? Kind of working with DaVinci Resolve a little bit. I made the jump to it from Sony Vegas, and I know I mentioned that before, but... Yeah, so what's up? <gasps> well, did you find anything out about the fifth stage? Yeah, I got her. You found the Sage of Spirit? Damn, dude! Minoru, this is... this sucks, man. I wanted to be the fifth Sage, man. Fantastic work, Link. I say bitterly. Can't believe this is actually one of the Sages who faced off against the Demon King, alongside Zelda. 
Now we have news about the princess. There's some relief in that, at least. So, in the ancient past, Princess Zelda worked to restore the decayed Master Sword. Yup. I remember all this. She did so much all on her own. Oh. What? The Master Sword was restored, you say? When were you planning on telling me? Um, <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, I've had it for a while. And it was found on the head of a white dragon, of all places? That's hard to believe. However, hmm. please don't let it be true. This was Princess Zelda's wish. One she believed in so strongly that she gave her life to see it through. Thank you for finding the sword, Link. I have to say, I was getting flashbacks of Seymour for a second there. He has a similar line, where he's like, They gave their lives because they believed in it so strongly! Or something. I've been thinking about Seymour ever since Luca put that... the thumbnail of him... on her Spirit of Justice. Crisis of Hyrule Castle complete. So much stuff is complete now. We need to determine where the Demon King is lurking. It seems unlikely he'd still be in Hyrule Castle. Can't think of any place he'd be here on the surface. That must mean... Huh? That's it. The depths. Of course. <laughs> well, shoot. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Josha. Okay. Haven't really talked to her in a while. What? So, the Demon King is in the deepest reaches of the depths, far beneath Hyrule Castle. As usual, you're one step ahead of me, Link. Like, that's where we found him. I don't know why this is such a surprise. I mean... <laughs> Like, he pushed the castle up from down there. Yes, I did do it. I did something. I'm not sure what yet. Thank you so much. You're welcome. She also turned out to be pretty capable, eh? Hey, move the camera to right where it was before. That kid was working tirelessly to gather information. She wanted to be of use to you. Make sure you let her know her help was valuable, yeah? Yes. With this, preparations are complete. Now our target is the deepest reaches of the depths. Of course, I'll let all the sages know right away when you head to face the Demon King. You were not alone in this. In the words of Michael Jackson, you are not alone. Story Ganondorf. Yep, that's our new quest. <laughs> so that's it. It's funny, in Breath of the Wild, that's like the first quest you get. And it's the last one you complete. Here, it's a little bit different than that. Swordsman, welcome back! I know it's rough because we still don't know where Princess Zelda is! She disappeared underground, so there might be some connection to the depths. I'll continue with my research on it. Wait, what? Doc praised my work? Because of my research, you were able to locate the Demon King. Really? Uh. Wait, the Demon King? You mean like, the Demon King? Not just any old Demon King, but THE Demon King? Hey. Wow! The Demon King! Oh, so anyway, the Demon King might hold the answer regarding Princess Zelda's whereabouts. Obviously, I'm not allowed into the depths myself, being a kid and all, but I want to continue to help out, even if I- This is the stupidest voice to give a kid! Oh my god! Wow. I'm so happy I put my all into this. <laughs> you definitely look it. Thank you for telling me, Swordsman. You're picking up the body language from Pura there. That's cool. Hey, is the state of uh, Wisconsin still here? I do have a lot of armor upgrades and stuff to do. Oh, shoot. Here we go. I just changed my armor and now it's like, hey, guess what? I'm here. Minibru's Val has granted you the power to summon her construct. Now she's just going to be another, like, oh. I thought she was like an avatar at this point, but okay. Sure. No, I am not getting on you. I am not doing that. Anyway, let me see. Yeah, so right right up here behind the shrine, actually, if we just descend through this, should be able to get the one here. Oops. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> You're telling me I can't ascend through that? Really? Okay. Try over here, then. Oh, there we go. I was going to say, there's got to be a spot around here somewhere. All it is is a rock just on top of this little thing here. Yeah, right there. How in the world did I manage to not get this one? This is like one of the first ones you probably get in the game, and like, wow. For me, it's like number 374 plus 421. That's 795. So if we just kind of jump off to the east here... I think this is like, generally, right around where Lon Lon Ranch was... ...in the first game. Well, I could be wrong. Kinda wish it was nighttime right now, to tell you the truth, but oh well. Yeah, Minoru's coming with us, and she's in her physical form. I don't know why I remember her as being, like, another avatar, but I guess then again. Like, how crazy would that be? Ooh, there's, like, an encampment here. Alright, not so much. Um, Korok is, like, right here somewhere, so... Let me just... Scoot on over. Not even talking to you Bokoblins right now. Yeah, this is it right here. Jeez. It looks even worse than it did in the first game. There's, like, nothing left. This might not actually be Lon Lon Ranch. Oh, wait, it's actually probably over there, isn't it? Yeah, that would make sense. Anyway. 
Oh, I'll look at that in a second here. Oh yeah, it's like one of these structures. It's funny how, like, you'll see something like this in the game and just, it looks kind of important and sometimes you never know, it actually is. <laughs> in this case, it is. In a world of this size, though, like, it's inevitable there's gonna be stuff that just looks important but isn't. So, I guess in some way you might say, well, just because it looks important doesn't mean I would go check it out. Either way, I guess we can go look. Yeah, man, good old Lon Lon Ranch. Doesn't say Lon Lon Ranch on there anymore. Well, there's a lot of Bokoblins just kind of dicking around out here. A couple of trees. Oh, I thought Minaru was a monster for a second. I was like, what the hell is that following me? Good lord, man. So then there's one over here. Oh, if I had to guess, it's probably an acorn in the rock, isn't it? Yep. That's another super easy one. I could have had these so much earlier, man. <laughs> you get those armor upgrades and all that? Oh, man. I guess when you're not thinking about it, you just don't necessarily... Um... Wow. Okay. I was gonna take a picture of you, but not after what you just did. I don't want to bring back memories of that. What is this, Earthbound? I mean, it looks like it's about to start raining up there. Oh, hey, it's a dandelion. Okay, so we're, uh, right here on the map, actually. That's where this one be. Let's cut the sucker down. And grab it in midair, as we always do. Nice. Okay. Well, that takes care of those four. Hey, you know what? Do I have a picture of you? No, I don't. Now I do. Booyah. Wow, okay, there's like an entire string of them, like five in a row here, just east of the Great Plateau over here. Maybe I'll go grab these while I'm here. <laughs> Proxim Bridge, hell yeah, dude. I believe this is the bridge in the first game where the guy was like trying to jump off the side or something. And then you stop him from doing it, or something like that. Anyway. Well, there should be like a little Korok stump on the underside of this. Let me just see if I can find it. Wait a minute. Oh, there it is. Gotcha. Ba -ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -ba -bum, ba -ba. I figured this is the smart. There's two of them on this bridge, actually, so I figured this is the smarter one to do first. Because that way it'll just take us right to the other one, which is on top. It's actually on top of a column on the west side, so let me go grab that. You can see it from here. <laughs> I can totally pick that up. In real life, there's no way I could pick up a rock that size. A rock that's as big as, like, five of my head. I don't know, maybe I could now. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's funny to think about things like that, though. Okay, so the first one is right here. It's pretty obvious, man. My guys are all in the way. I might actually turn those off, because you can't do that. What am I doing? It's over here. <laughs> Put that on in there. And booyah. The next one's pretty super close by. Man, you can see where the other two were that I just got from the angle that's showing on this one. Amazing. I don't know what all that glowy yellow stuff was in the distance over there. Maybe electric keys or something. Anyway, if we just run a little way south of here... I believe on the top of this over here, there's gonna be another one. Okay, I've turned them all off except for two in here, so, uh... Oh, we got a flower trail on our hands, huh? Okay, and now it's raining. That's not good. Fortunately, we were able to get on top of that with one swift hop. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> Dang, dude. Hiccups left and right here. And now from here, we're just gonna jump off to the left. Why'd I kept tooling on? <laughs> I knew I wasn't going to regret that. Never do. There have been times like when I just rushed in and turned them all off at once, forgetting about tooling, and then needed him and had to go back in and turn him back on. So I am seeing... Oh, oh, it's one of these. Okay. Well, that's easy. Well, let's go grab it. Sooner or later, we're going to get to 800 here. In fact, I think this might be 800 right here. So let me actually take a look. Well, it feels like we just did 500 in the Gorons not that long ago. Oh, I need to warp somewhere. I wish there was a way to look at your totals without doing this, but... Oh, well. That's 803. Oh, wow. Okay. So we're in the last 20% of this. Man. We have all shrines, all light roots. Absolutely beautiful. Well, I'll tell you what, I need to actually upload a video for today, July 26th, because I haven't done that yet, and it's literally 4.51 right now. 
So thank goodness it's a Paper Mario 2, so I don't have to make a thumbnail for it. <laughs> I haven't been making thumbnails for those, because I don't know. Anyway, see you guys later. Bye!